Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing a review on the products from the cosmetic brand Raw. They're an Australian organics um, superfood like infused beauty company which they really call my eye. For one thing, they're not tested on animals which I absolutely love. I feel like it's so important to really research where you're getting your products from, try and get cruelty free, vegan if possible just because um, there's so many available out there. Why use products that are tested on animals these days? Like, it's just so unnecessary. And also, they are made from 100% natural ingredients, which, oh my god, like, you guys know me. I'm a huge advocate for that. Like, natural, sustainable beauty, that is literally my thing. Like, I've been looking for so many products these days, like, that I can use that will sit on my skin and last, but are natural and aren't, like, causing our skin damage, inflammation isn't soaking into our body and causing harm. So I'm going to be testing out their foundation. This one is the Wildberry Nourish Foundation with Coconut Water, Raw Cacao, 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 Cacao and Rose Hip Oil, which is really good for your skin actually. I did do a lot of research um, on Rose Hip Oil back when I had my really bad acne days, when my skin was super inflamed. I used to look at all these like natural like beauty oils and stuff that I could use on my skin, and I remember Rose Hip was a really really great one for the skin. So first things first, I absolutely love the packaging of it. I think it's so gorgeous, and like I love how they've used this kind of patterning on the top with like that kind of bamboo woody kind of style to it. Um, the only thing I would say is like when they do send it through, they send it with this this shit, and I just feel like it's so unnecessary to send all this like like styrofoam stuff that just ends up in waste landfill and like um, our waterways and things. I just think it's so unna like, so unnecessary. I just don't agree with it. Um, but in saying that, I do really love their packaging of their products, and they're all so cute. Like even the concealer has it, and the powder is really cute as well with like the whole woody kind of star vibe just to keep that natural flow vibe going I guess I think I just really think it's so cute so the reason I'll be doing first impressions for you guys on this today is just to test out how it sits on my skin how it wears five hours eight hours ten hours however long you know you guys will be wearing it during the day I want to see if it's as good as all the synthetic ones like will it create my will it stay on my skin will it go patchy will it fade like will my oils because I get quite oily I'm quite oily combination skin girl so um, I want to see if it like holds and like stays um, without my oil oils breaking it down um, will I stay matte like how the finish will be by the end of the day like I know it won't be as great <clears throat> as it does at the beginning but it never does but I want to see just how wearable it is how much coverage it creates just to see all these like different things see how like natural products wear against like synthetic because I want to be able to give you guys the option of you know, wearing something that's actually good for your skin, that's not harming your skin, not putting all these nasty chemicals and stuff that will soak into your skin, into your bloodstream and like cause harm to your body. I want to be able to give you guys an option if you would like to choose um, to wear something that does create coverage on your skin, does give you that nat like that does give you that flawless finish, but isn't doing harm to your skin at the same time, if that makes sense. So that's kind of like my overall goal, just to give you guys an option, I guess. So without further ado, I guess let's get to testing the foundation and concealer and powder, shall we? So what I'm going to do today is prime just the one side of my face so you guys can see the difference between a prime side and an unprime side. I didn't buy a primer from the Raw, com like Raw Cosmetics company. I'm just going to use... The one that I used actually in my previous um, video when I tested the 100% pure natural makeup brand. If you would like to check it out, I'll make sure to leave it up above so you guys can have a look and see if you'd like to watch another first impressions on a natural makeup brand. But yeah, like I said, I'm just going to take one pump of the primer and just apply it to the one side of my face. You can use whatever primer you really want. I just like to keep it with the natural feels today. Um, I'll just let you guys know how much the foundation retails and along with the other products as well. I'll leave everything linked down below for you guys as well. If you'd like to check it out, purchase it, whatever you want to do. So the product retails for $34.99 Australian. You get 30 mils of product and you have about six shades. So you have a six shade range. The first one is vanilla, the next one's nude, 
you have rose, honey, which is the one I purchased, and then you have bronze and toast as well. So this is a small shade range, but I guess they're doing the best with what they have. They use natural products to get the colour and pigmentation. I'm so keen to try this out. I don't know if it'll be too dark for me. I purchased this like in Feb... Oh, actually was it in January, February? So it's been sitting in my like beauty table for a while. And I don't know if it'll match me now because I have gotten lighter since the summer months. But we'll make it work. We'll make it work. My, I feel like my face is probably settled in now so I can definitely go in and apply my foundation now. Yeah. So on the website they say that it's a liquid foundation that is enriched with hydrating power of coconut water um, and wild berry harvest for a natural nutrient boost. With raw cacao to improve the texture and soften skin, rose oil for increased suppleness and healing and chia seeds to protect the skin from free radicals. I love like reading like the description and like say how it says like the different ingredients like what they do for the skin. I always find it super interesting to see like what foods do what to help boost and like you know improve our skin and I just love, I love how nature works. So on their bottle they do say that the colour may vary or change over time due to high percentage of natural ingredients so we'll see how that goes throughout throughout the day like if it oxidizes or changes color or anything like that I want to see um, if that does work like if that does happen on um, during the day hopefully it doesn't because I mean like like I said I think it's a little bit darker on me anyway so we'll see let's try it out now so I'm going to put a couple pumps on my skin um, we'll start off with one pump and then see how much that see how far that goes oh wow oh that smells so good yeah, it definitely can smell that vanilla. What else is in it? Yeah, lime and coconut. Man, I'm getting so much vanilla scent here. It smells so good. And I love how it's vegan friendly. Like, I love cruelty free vegan products. Like I said at the beginning, I just think it's so easy these days to access products like that. Like, why not? Like, why go for ones that are, you know, harming animals and like animal testing and stuff? It's just so unnecessary these days. There you go. Oh yeah, I can smell the lime too. Oh my god, it smells so good. If you guys aren't like a sweet, like scented fan, like you aren't a fan of sweet scents, then I don't know how this will go for you. But it just, it's, I love it. It just smells so good. Although I'm not a huge fan of like over the top, super, super like sweet scented things. But this just smells so good. And because you know it's just natural. Like it's a natural fragrance. It's not synthetic. You can smell the difference. Like I've had um, products that do that do that synthetic smell um, on them. And sometimes they're just too overpowering and too much. So that was one pump and it really didn't cover much at all. It just did a tinge to the skin. So I'm feeling like because it is a natural product it's going to be quite a light coverage. We'll see. We'll see. I feel like it'll be great on those everyday wears when you don't want a lot of... I'm just going to put a couple pumps on the back of my hand. Yeah, i put a couple. We're going heavy duty. I mean, it's applying pretty smoothly over the skin, I'm not going to lie. Like, it's not it's not clinging to any dry patches um, or anything like that. But it is definitely a more natural coverage, like, for sure. For sure. But yeah, like I said, I feel like it'll be one of those products that you wear, like, on an everyday basis when you don't want to look too overdone, but, you know, you still want to look put together. I know I'll be more inclined to wear makeup, like, more regularly um, with this product, just because I know I'm not having something that's chemical sitting on my skin all day. That's probably the biggest reason why I don't wear makeup all the time, because I know... It's not good for the skin, but now that this is like a more natural option, I'm feeling more comfortable to be able to wear um, one for you know more often, like wear makeup more often, which I'm always I'm always for. I freaking love wearing it; it's so much fun. That's covered up a lot more. It's still a natural finish, but like you can tell, there's more coverage to it. I've still got like if you can still see that pimple is still shining through. So I'll see how the concealer goes. I won't put like too many layers on because I mean the colour right like the colour is a little bit darker on me but not too bad it's not too bad and I feel like for you guys with really sensitive um, skin this will be a great option for you 
because I know when I had really bad acne that I, I swear like my skin just reacted to everything like anything I put on my skin any makeup it would just blow up my skin would absolutely have a field day it was not good so I always looked for like I used that 100% pure one for months and months when my skin was really bad because it wasn't as aggravating it was more natural so my skin liked it a lot more and it wouldn't react as bad so I feel like for all you girls and guys out there who do have quite sensitive skin and you're very acne prone I feel like this would be a better option for you that's just in my opinion because that was my experience like having a natural foundation just worked so much better on my skin when I had really bad acne so I've still got so much product left like I totally didn't need to squeeze the whole bottle out but I don't think I'll apply too much more I'll bring it down my body to even it up a little bit so as you guys can see that's the kind of finish on the skin um, it's super natural like it's definitely not a full coverage foundation um, it just does it just like a, like a, I feel like it's like a BB cream in the sense like um, it's quite a light coverage it just tints the skin or like you know covers any redness and things but it won't cover up like oh, missed a bit but it won't cover up like the pimples and stuff all that much I mean I had a couple blemishes down here they're not they're not really showing through so that's pretty good like I said it covers up a little bit not a lot but like for me in my opinion I don't mind that that much like I'm not hating on like a more softer coverage these days I do quite enjoy a bit more of the lay the lay natural look so I don't feel like there's much of a difference between the primed and the unprimed side at the moment we'll have to see how it wears during the day um, and see how that goes but basically for now it's pretty much this you know what I mean so for the next product I'm going to use I'm going to take the raw concealer this is the Superfood Infused Beauty Wildberry Blur Concealer. Um, it says on the bottle that this antioxidant rich concealer provides undetectable coverage for life's little complexion imperfections. That's so cute. The fragrance is natural coconut vanilla and lime as well. So this one should smell similar to the foundation. They do say for more coverage you want to shake it before you use it. And that's with a lot of natural products you do need to shake it. I think with any foundation to be honest... You always want to shake it and like concealer, you want to shake it before you use it. Um, this is also has that um, warning thing on it that says the colour may vary or change over time due to the high percentage of natural ingredients. So just keep that in mind if you're purchasing this. So I got the shade Vanilla Nude. So I got something a bit lighter for my skin tone because I did I wasn't sure when I purchased the foundation how dark it would be so I want something to like be able to lighten it up and like highlight my face if I needed to. And on their website the concealer retails for $24.99 Australian I believe. You have 8 mils of product and you only have 2 shades so there's vanilla nude and honey bronze. Um, that's a really small shade range for me I feel like that's not a lot of option for you guys. I think the 100% pure one had a bit more like shade range options so like I said I've already linked it up above and I'll link it at the end for you guys to check out as well. Um, and there's the ingredients list as well so you guys can check it out. So in the description this one also says it's infused with hydrating power of coconut water and wild berry harvest for a liquid conceal that delivers the ultrian the ultrient the ultimate nutrient boost. Um, it's perfect when applied over your base. Um, to cover blemishes, pigmentation, and to brighten the under eyes. Anyways, I'm going to just apply it under the eyes. A little triangle down my face. Uh, you know the drill. I'm going to apply it down the center of my nose. And I'm just going to blend it in. Mm -mm, that does not blend in smoothly under the eyes. It looks all like it's clinging to the foundation. But I will keep trialing this product like past today and see how like if the application like maybe I'm just applying it not in the best way. That's a better shot like it just clings like it's not blending well. Which is disappointing. So I like foundation not a fan of the concealer at the moment. It's just not covering anything really like like yeah it covered a bit of my under eyes but if we're being honest it doesn't really cover the things you want it to cover. 
it's just very natural. I think this brand is just a very just like natural, soft finish to the look. Like I think that's what we're just gonna have to deal with, guys. Like it's not gonna be a full coverage look. But I feel like it covered up my under eyes pretty well. Can't complain too much there. It does dry like really fast, so just keep in mind you want to work quickly with it. But yeah, using my finger does do a good job actually. So I think keep in mind a brush does take away a lot of the coverage. Your finger just allows it to be a bit more pigmented. Okay, so that is the concealer. I'm going to set it with the powder now. And I have high hopes for this powder because it actually looks quite good. It looks quite good. And I did swatch it on my hand before. <laughs> Oops. So this is the Raw from the Earth Pressed Powder. So on the website, it's called the Pressed Mineral Powder and it retails for $29.99. You get 12 grams and there's four different shades. They range from vanilla, nude, honey, and bronze. I went and got the shade nude. Like I said, I wanted to make sure I got something lighter in case the foundation was a little bit too dark. This one is infused with coconut oil, pomegranate oil, green tea, and kakadu plum. It has 94% natural ingredients in it, and it should smell like vanilla, lime, and coconut as well. And I'm just going to load it up and like press it under the eyes. Oh, I really like that powder. Mmm. It's so... It's like a nice finish to the skin. It doesn't cling to any of the foundation or anything. Um, like I said before, I don't know if I caught it on camera, but the concealer didn't crease under my eyes. Like, I was talking for a while, guys. I was, like, talking for a while. And it did not crease. Like, it kept smooth under my eyes. Which I'm always appreciative of. I didn't have to, like, go back and, like blend it in with my finger or anything it just stayed in place that is like a huge tick for me like a huge thumbs up because I'm just gonna go a bit extra coverage over that blemish that pimple on my face it has a lot of coverage this um, powder as well which I am loving I'm just gonna highlight under the cheekbone a little bit but yeah, I'm just setting wherever I put that concealer down on my face to highlight but also set that concealer in place and I'm just taking a little bit and just going over my whole face, just lightly. So far, loving the powder so much. So I'm actually not going to go in with a setting spray today. I want to see how it wears just with the foundation and the powder and the concealer. Like, I don't want anything impacting the wear and tear of it. I'm going to take a flash photo to see if it has any flashback. I doubt it will, but let's check anyway. So, in my opinion, there wasn't flashback. Like, I didn't look like I had a white cast over my skin. Um, it's up to you to see, like, in these photos, do you think I have flashback? I think I'm alright. Like, I don't think there's flashback. But, yeah. But, yeah, I'm going to keep you guys updated throughout the day on how it wears and tears. Like, what I find working, what's not. Just so you guys get the full feel, the full experience of this makeup look. But I have to say, right now, like... That powder has done so much. Like, let me just zoom you guys in. <laughs> Get the full feel. So, yeah, you can see there's a little blemish there. But I've covered up that one with the powder. Everything looks so natural. It's such a soft finish. It is more... I would say it's more natural to medium coverage right now. Like, this isn't just natural. I'd say it's a medium coverage. It's covered up a fair bit. So it is buildable, especially with that powder, like I said. But, yeah. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I've done, like, my bronzer, highlight, like, brows and everything. So it's currently 9.30 in the morning. So, yeah, I'll check in with you guys in a few hours, see how it's wearing. Hopefully it's not tearing kind of thing. Um, but, yeah, I'm really, really happy with how it's looking at the moment. Um, just under all the rest of the makeup. Like, I've used my usual products, so nothing different. Like, same bronzer, highlight, all that jazz that I always use. And I think it's looking so flipping good at the moment. I don't really see any difference too much from the primed and unprimed side. It doesn't seem to be any difference between priming or unpriming at the moment. But yeah, I'll check in with you guys in a few hours. So, I'll see you then. Hey guys, I'm back. And it is now currently 12.18. So, it's been about like nearly three hours. 
Um, to be honest, it's all sitting extremely well. Like, it's still sitting so silky smooth on the skin. It hasn't clung to any dry patches or anything like that. Um, I don't think it's faded anywhere that I can see. No, it's still holding its um, coverage extremely well. Especially with no setting spray or anything. Like, I'm so happy. So happy with how it's looking. So that's pretty much all I need to update you guys on. There's not a lot going on at the moment. So I'll go and get something to eat. I might come back this afternoon around 3. So in another, like, 3 hours or so. And update you guys on how it's looking. Hey guys, I'm back. It is currently 3.30 on the dot. Perfect timing. So it's been three hours, slightly over three hours since my last update and I've got a little bit I guess to update on. Um, my face is looking a little bit more, I guess, slightly oily nothing too crazy. So I'm actually really happy with how it's holding up so far since it's been about six hours of wearing um, this makeup so I'm pretty impressed with that considering that my oils can get seriously like crazy and like really kind of start to seep through but I feel like it's looking really good I do feel like the prime side my pores are looking better than they are on the unprime side like just slightly slightly better I feel like they look a bit smaller and I do feel like the foundation is sitting a little bit nicer on the prime side as opposed to the unprime side. It's not setting into any really fine lines or anything like that. So I just zoomed you guys in so you could kind of see for yourself um, just how it's sitting on the skin. So this is like the unprime side. Just feel like it's settled into my pores a little bit more so as opposed to the primed side which is this one. I remember on the package it said that it could like the color could change um, throughout the wear. And for me, I feel like it hasn't changed. Like, you can't really see much of a difference. I just feel like it looks like my skin. So that's pretty much it for the 3.30 update. I feel like it's just looking really nice still. Alright, I'll keep you guys updated. Okay, guys, so it is currently 6.34. So this will be my last update for today. Um, I am looking a lot more oily than two or three hours ago when I did my last 3.30. So I'm looking a bit... Um, more oily than I was about three hours ago, so my oils have started to creep through now. We're at the nine hour mark, so it's lasted really well. I mean, the coverage is still there. It hasn't faded too much. Just a little bit near my nose when I was wearing my glasses today, like to do my laptop work. So it's just faded around here where it's rubbed off just slightly. I don't know if you guys can tell. Um, just slightly near my nose there. It hasn't cracked or broken around my nose either, which is really impressive because that is a spot for me where it does um, it does break up and fade. It's faded around my mouth a little bit when I've been eating and drinking. Not too bad. It hasn't faded much here, which is a trouble spot for me, especially because I'm always touching my face. So I'm surprised it hasn't faded that much, actually. I'm really, really happy with this foundation. Like, oh... And the concealer is looking so good as well. It's not breaking up or cracking under my eyes. I'm so happy. But yeah, it's looking so good. I'm so happy with this foundation, guys. It's definitely got a big thumbs up from me at the end of the day. Like, I'm so happy with the final result. Especially because I've been eating and drinking all day. It's barely broken up around my mouth. I've got a cold, so I've been like wiping at my nose and it's barely broken up there if anything it hasn't really broken up actually at all and it was so easy to blend over the top of my nose I always find that sometimes with foundations it doesn't seem to cling to my nose or I just get patchy but today is not one of those days so yeah this wraps up today's video guys I really do hope you enjoyed it got something out of it I hope you will consider this foundation um in your collection just so that you guys have like something that isn't impacting your skin so much like I said, I find it helpful to have a natural makeup product there. So if my skin is playing up, it's really sensitive. Or I want to wear foundation more often. I have something natural to use that won't be harming my body or my skin. But yeah, let me know what you guys think down below of the video. If you did like it, make sure to give a big thumbs up for me, please. And subscribe down below to my channel. I'd love to see you guys in my YouTube fam. And see you guys in my upcoming videos. That would be so awesome. But yeah, otherwise have an awesome day, guys. I love you all so much. And I'll see you very soon. Bye.